Bonjour and welcome to another Parisoft Beaten Path video. Let me guide you on a stroll in the Bois de Boulogne. To reach the Bois de Boulogne, the very large park to the west of the 16th arrondissement of Paris, there are several options. Let's start from Porte Dauphine Station, terminus of line 2 of the Paris Metro. In Paris, there is no central park, not even something such as Hyde Park. But Paris still has two green links, one to the east, the Bois de Vincennes, the other to the west, the Bois de Boulogne. Both Bois, French for woodlands, belong to Paris, even though they are outside of the boulevard périphérique that surrounds Paris. First, we'll go from the metro station to the lower lake. The lower, but the largest of the two lakes in the Bois. We are now passing over the boulevard périphérique. The boulevard périphérique, sometimes called Périph, is a six-lane ring road around Paris. It is the busiest urban motorway in Europe, with 260,000 vehicles per day. We are now entering the Bois de Boulogne. Let's speed up a little bit. It will normally take you seven minutes from the Périph to the lake. The Bois de Boulogne is a large public park located along the western edge of the 16th arrondissement. This land was turned into a public park in 1852. It covers an area of 845 hectares, 2,088 acres, which is about two and a half times the area of Central Park in New York. But in the boundaries of the Bois de Boulogne are an English landscape garden with several lakes and a cascade, two smaller botanical and landscape gardens, the Château de Bagatelle and the Pré Catelan, two tracks for horse racing, the Hippodrome de Longchamp and the Hauteuil Hippodrome, the Stade Roland Garros, where the French Open tennis tournament is held each year, and the Fondation Louis Vuitton and other attractions. We arrive at the Lac Inferieur, Lower Lake, which is the largest in the Bois de Boulogne. In the middle of the lake are two islands that you can reach by boat. As in Central Park, New York or Hyde Park, London, you can go boating on this lake. Boats can be rented from the 15th of February to the end of October.
let's leave the lake and head towards the beautiful Precatlan garden. The Ruisseau de Longchamp is the major artificial stream in the park. It flows westward through the Precatlan Gardens and ends at the Grand Cascade Big Waterfall. We are going to speed up a little bit again. The Precatlan Garden is one of the two botanical gardens in the Bois de Boulogne. It is a landscape garden created in 1858. There are many magnificent trees in the Precatlan. Amongst them, this giant sequoia tree planted in 1872. By the way, shame on me, I discovered that it was forbidden to step on the grass only after having crossed this lawn. This stream is the Ruisseau de Longchamp, whose source we saw next to the lower lake. These trees are Chilean pines or Araucaria. They are also called monkey puzzle trees. If you are wealthy enough, this is the Precatlan restaurant, one of the 13 Michelin 3 star restaurants in Paris. This sequoia is a youngster, it is only 150 years old, whereas sequoias can live more than 3000 years. This is the Shakespeare Garden, created in 1953. Five different natural settings contain all the trees, bushes and flowers mentioned in Shakespeare's plays. Every summer, plays are performed there outdoors. Pitted was closed when I filmed this.
Let's leave the Precathlon Garden and get back to the Lower Lake. Though soliciting for prostitution is illegal in France, at night time, parts of the Bois de Boulogne are a popular rendezvous place for prostitutes. You can see some of them in the distance here. But if you stay on my loop, you will not meet any. We are back at the Lower Lake, which we will now go around. The Napoleon III kiosk on one of the two islands on the lower lake. The water that you can see here comes from the upper lake. The northernmost island is the Chalet des Îles restaurant, which can be reached by boat from a pier located east of Lower Lake. It's a beautiful place, but the food is so-so. 
and the prices are touristic. Vive les mariés! Long live the bridegrooms! Of euro for an hour, with a maximum of four people aboard. It's now time to finish this stroll and close the loop getting back at Port Dauphin metro station. Back on the route de Suren, which ends at Port Dauphin. I hope you enjoyed this walk in this green lung of Paris, which is the Bois de Boulogne. If so, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to Paris Top Tips. See you soon on another Paris of the Beaten Path video.